Yeah, so this is a, a very brief demonstration of, of just some of the functionalities of Texcavator, which is basically a tool which you can use, or which we use, to download specific uh, subsets from the big Delphi data set uh, and to contextualize the data to some extent. Uh, so it's connected to Delphi. We're currently connected, connecting it to the Times um, in, in the hopeless state, that, uh, and, uh, which Andrew explained to us. It's, the words are all in locations rather than in plain text. It's, um, but we'll get that done. We've tried chronicling America. That works as well. So we think it's a, it's a multi-purpose kind of, um, of thing. Um, now, wh what I've done, um, it, it's online, but um, Surfsara, is, 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 uh, which is the, the servers where this thing is um, put, uh, has been down for most of the time. It was in Nader Lab. I, I, I tried to access it as well, but that was difficult. So I can't get Chico to work, unfortunately, uh, because of the server. Um, so it's not the fault of Texavator, but of the server. So what, what I did to prepare this, I typed in the wor word refugee. I was talking with the Greek lady uh, uh, over the break about refugees. So I thought that might be an interesting word. I put refugee between 1818 and 1819. That would be my subset. So I can configure the subset I need by um, uh, using this uh, configuration tool. It, it, I can do all kinds of things with it, but I'm just showing you the, the, the way to, 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 um, to make a, create a subset. I can use uh, search in advertisements only. I can search in articles only. I can search in local newspapers or in... Um, uh, national newspapers. I can look at the identity of newspapers. You can also do the same by simply using this um, uh, search box, which you can enlarge, uh, and um, put in a, a very complicated qu a query if you li like using Elasticsearch. And Elasticsearch has a slightly different language from Boolean uh, um, searches, but they basically does the same stuff. But you can make some very complicated researches. I've just put in the word refugee. The, the, the Dutch word for refugee is a vluchteling, so then um, you can uh, generate uh, that subset. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going first to the export because that's what we often use. You can simply export your, your subset, put it on your own computer if you have a contract with, the, with Delphi or with the Times in, in, uh, in the future, uh, and export it into JSON, XML, or CSV formats. And you always use um, CSV for some reason. So, um, Oh dear, what's happened? So here's the subset. Here you see all the, the different articles, the titles on, on the left-hand side, the newspaper from which it is, the, the, the date, and so on. Um, going back to the initial screen, you can generate a timeline. This may take a second or two. It should have, yeah, there it is. There's the timeline. So you can see uh, probably the whole screen, it doesn't show the whole screen, right? So from the beginning, 1880, until the 1990s. And you can see in the, in the Second World War, there were lots of refugees, but their refugees, you know, um, uh, crop up uh, time and again. But the period of the Second World War, obviously, is a period with lots of refugees. Now, red red is, is statistically, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, something which is uh, very significant. But that, that's, I mean, there's some calculation there, which you can, uh, you can use the configuration option to switch it out, off if you, if you don't like it. You can look at the metadata, so you'll see that most of these things are in articles rather than advertisements, which is something you would expect. You can see how these are distributed over the different kinds of newspapers, so, so many regional, so many uh, national. And pillars basically means identities of newspapers. So these conservative, socialist, Catholic, Protestant newspapers, and you can see to what extent they were interested in um, in this case, uh, refugees. So this is a Czech refugee. Uh, there is also German refugees being shot down, uh, you know, when they climbed over the wall. There's an article just down there. Uh, there are Jewish refugees. This is the Czech. So it's a very short article just with, with a photograph. So you get the photograph as well and the original text um, belonging to it um, down below. So this, this is a caption. You can uh, make a word cloud of the caption if you like, um, so, and you can, you can stem it. Um, there's, there's options in there. Th there's an option to, to uh, get rid of the stop words or not. So the, the it's now switched on, so it, it gets rid of all the stop words, all the, the words you don't want. You can uh, identify the stop words yourself, so you, you, you remain in control. But in this case, it shows you that the screen doesn't 
really work for me. But um, well, the, 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 uh, in this case, Amsterdam is very important. It's mostly all the words in the caption because this is a very brief, uh, brief text. Um, so that's the word cloud. Uh, this is the, um, the article. Uh, you, you can generate word clouds on collections of articles. I'm, I'm just doing the simple thing because I think my time has almost run out. And uh, we can take a look at Chico, which has worked. Wow. Wow. Okay. No, sorry. I, do I have one minute? <laughs> I've been trying all afternoon, but, um, but suddenly it's, it's worked. So uh, this is the re result of Chico. So from, uh, this w works only for the, uh, the post-World uh, War period, so from 1950 to 1990. And um, uh, this will take an hour to explain, but, but what, what you see is it tries to trace meanings over time. So uh, I began with the word refugee in 1950. I could also begin with the word refugee in uh, 1990 and that worked backwards. But in this case, from refugee uh, in 1950, the kind of um, meanings it follows over time are, are quite unexpected, I see. I, haven't, I hadn't tried this before. It gets words like bandits, a criminal, a sadist. That there's, there's flüchtling there, which is uh, adventurers, uh, fantasists. Um, uh, Miss Lickling is, a, is somebody who is uh, Miss Lickling. Uh, fail failures. So uh, th this is a very strange kind of, of, uh, of way it works, but it, it, there, it has something to do with the articles. Um, so probably you should get, perhaps get rid of advertisements and stuff and it will be uh, clearer. Um, but, um, so this is a very strange, unexpected meaning of refugee, which you know, sets you to think. It's not the, the, the normal thing you would expect. You would have expected um, asylum seekers, perhaps, and, and uh, well, uh, other words. Anyhow, you, you could play with this by, by, by um, looking at all the keywords in every uh, um, word you like, uh, every year you like, to see what the relations are with, um, with refugee. Now, the refugee was probably the long choice, because in this case, uh, Chico gets something really strange, um, but usually does get you know, interesting results. <laughs> okay, so that was the brief uh, demonstration. Sorry, any questions for yours? Oh, sorry. Just access. Yeah. Tell us something about access. Who can access this? Who can have access? Okay, at, at this point, uh, the uh, researchers in the team, and then uh, more broadly speaking, researchers at Utrecht University, and then if there are some really enthusiastic uh, researchers, <laughs> we, all, we, we, let, we let them in. But the idea is that within uh, at the end of the project, and the project runs until um, halfway 1880, we, um, we we're trying to convince parties and we're trying to convince the Utrecht University, w which is very interested. We're trying to convince the uh, National Library, which is interested. And inter interestingly, the National Library is also going to get the Times data set so they could add it to, uh, to this so that you could uh, consult that in the uh, National Library itself. Uh, but but for, the, for the National Library stuff itself, uh, then it would be available to everybody. So in 18, 1818, we want this to be available to the whole world, insofar as the whole world is interested in Dutch newspapers. But it's also on GitHub, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a, this is open source. So, I mean, uh, everybody can feel, feel free. The, the interface is, is a little shitty. I mean, it's, it's from six, seven years ago. Uh, I think th th this this built on stuff that was built in Amsterdam, and we're going to renovate that as well so that it looks it looks better. But the more important thing is that it works, and it it works. Even Chico worked today, in spite of certain stuff. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, Thanks.